My wife and I recently celebrated our five year anniversary. And I thought in reflecting on our time being married, what is it like to marry someone who's from Hawaii? As a local, I wouldn't really know because I'm from here, but my wife not being from Hawaii, I thought it would be a very interesting question to ask her. And so, yay! <laughs> Look, look, talk about the wedding right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> you don't know what you're about to face. <laughs> All right, so what is it like being married to someone who's like local? Like, what, what, what are some of the maybe pros and cons we can kind of go over, but what are some of the benefits to being married to someone who's, who's local? Well, I think it's, if, well, even if I'm married to you, I mean, yeah. any local, there's, because every family situation is different. So it's really hard to compare ours to other, mm. other like families, like other Japanese who's married to a local. But for our case, I could say that it's that we always we have a benefit of having your relatives and your parents here, that they're always here to support us, and you know even right now they're watching our boys as yeah. we're having our alone time together, and they're always willing to help us out. Or even not just your parents, but even your like. Um, you know, your aunties and uncles that are like, you know, they always, you know, trying to look after us. <laughs> like, you know, like how your uncle who lives in Kauai, he's always like, hey, when are you guys coming to Kauai? Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's like, yeah. <laughs> it's always good to have that support that they're, you know, willing to, you know, be there for us. Yeah, I think it's probably one of the things where, you know, we, we know a lot of people who aren't from here. We're both the husband and wife. Mm -hmm. and they have a family and they're, they're not from here. Mm -hmm. And... You know, it's. I think it's a lot harder for them to make it because they don't have that family support system. Yeah. And so yeah. by marrying someone who's local, you, you in a lot of ways guarantee you'll at least have yeah. somebody to help you yeah. with raising kids. Yeah. But even just like holiday times, you know, like oh, yeah. Christmas time, yeah. Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving time, like New Year's. Easter. <laughs> yeah, like all these occasions, you have somewhere to go. We can walk that way and then we'll head back. How about like local people's general attitude? Is that a good thing? Like, you know how like Hawaii, how Hawaii people are very like laid back? Is that something that you see as a positive or is that more like... I, it's really hard to say because you're not, I mean, you're not laid back. <laughs> oh, okay. Like, you're always on time. Perhaps you're even, you think ahead of a time. So, okay. you know, whenever we have family gatherings, we always want to make sure we have extra time. Yeah. And be there early. And yeah. now that we have kids too, right? You just have to kind of be prepared for any eventful... <laughs> incident that that's not part of the plan so i think <laughs> that question uh, is very hard to answer because you're local and you're chill but you're <laughs> but you know you're you don't do things based on hawaii time <laughs> mm, yeah i guess that's true i try to be, I try to be more punctual yeah than yeah a lot yeah. of other local people yeah 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 so who are <laughs> I'll be there in five minutes, yeah. and that means oh, that's there. like like fifteen minutes yeah. or like thirty minutes even. That means they just left the house, so they ain't gonna come. But a lot of my minutes. friends, though, they're on time too, so yeah, well, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, now let's talk about some of the maybe some of the challenges or drawbacks to marrying someone who's local, because you know, they, I I definitely know that some local people can be very difficult, and you know we are isolated, so it's it's like challenging, but like. As we're walking this way, what 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 are some of the challenges that you've seen in the last five years? Not just get be, not just being married, because that's a whole different thing, right? <laughs> but yes. more so, like, what are some of the challenges that, specifically to me being from Hawaii, that you're like, oh yeah, it's it's kind of hard. Well, one of the things that I definitely had to get used to was the closeness of family. Like we said, yeah. there's for everything, there's pros and cons. But yeah. for this case too, because I didn't really grow up in a close family. Like, you know, and that was something that I wasn't, wasn't really used to first, that yeah. I had to kind of like adjust myself. That sometimes like at first, you know, when when your parents would say, oh, you know, you will watch boy, bobby, bobby, bada, ba, And then I'll be like, you know, I can do it. It's fine. Like, I don't need people's help and that kind of attitude. Yeah. And, and that's actually taking the benefit of your parents being the grandparents. Yeah. And I guess it's a part of my pride within me that it's like, you know, 
it's important that we raise our children not just by ourselves and to know that they're loved by other people too mm. so I think that was something that I had to get used to and even before getting married I guess you know they will always invite us to you know come over for having lunch dinner yeah or like lunch breakfast whatever but it's like I'm like it's very it was uncommon for me at least in the beginning so it was a big adjustment that I had to get used to mm. but, and it's okay to have that close tightness yeah within the family you know? yeah I, I can see that being very difficult for a lot of people who aren't from here to get used to family being so involved mm -hmm. after marriage mm -hmm. you know like mm -hmm. a lot of families are just like big and they're close and so when you when you marry into the family it's like weekends you guys go hang out at their house mm -hmm. or holidays or it just becomes like this thing and and we don't even live with my parents mm -hmm. you know like if we lived with them like a lot of other people do it would be even more involved like we couldn't escape because there'd be like no separation <laughs> and i think that's where you know a lot of families become strained because you you have no like privacy you have no like alone time do you want to sit or you wanna sit on this log oh yeah we could sit on the log you sit on this log and, okay. yeah well i hope we don't get in their way oh okay so like do you have any advice for anyone who is thinking about marrying someone who is local I just, all I'm gonna say is just be prepared, you know? For what? Just prepare for what's about to face and, and I think it's hard for, like even for me, even though I grew up living in Japan, New York, Hong Kong, like Hawaii is a very different place compared to mainland. It's a, and they have similarities, um, you know, and Hawaii, Japan have similarities for sure. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, a good blend of mainland and Japan, mm. and and it's a kind of it brings a new culture that you're not so used to, and then you have to get yourself to get used to that being living in that culture, but but more so I guess you know doing life together with a different person is just a whole yeah. different story, yeah. <laughs> and I think it's fine to go through a lot of struggles. Like I, it took a lot of time for me to like get used to to my life here yeah. not just being married to him but just adapting myself into a new new place new culture and it took a while but I think it's okay yeah when it I think when it comes to like marriage and and when you have that that cultural difference because mm -hmm. you know we're Hawaii is just we're, we're just people right? I mm -hmm. mean, we're, we're, we're Americans we're, we're just people and so we share the dollar, but you know, if you're coming from the mainland to marry someone here, not only do you have to adjust to being married, which is a whole other adjustment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, that's a different story. But also the culture is totally different. Mm -hmm. And if you're from somewhere else, chances are you don't have the same supports that you normally would because you're not home, right? You're, you're moving here and you're living in here, like here. So I think, you know, that's, that's something to consider as well as, you know, even if you were to marry someone from Hawaii and they were to go with you, like you move away from Hawaii, but you still marry someone who's like from Hawaii, they're still carrying all those like Hawaii like, mindset, like mindset, ideology, the way that they, they live and they grow up and the way that they think. And, and that will take, I think a lot, just like I'm sure any other part of the country that has a very strong culture it's going to take a very long time to adjust to that person yes. being removed from the culture. So I, I, I think more so in Hawaii because the culture is so unique here. Having family here, I, I, you, you marry into that family a lot more, I think, here than in maybe other parts. I guess as I was just reflecting about my, our anniversary, um, well, am I being allowed to say how many years we've been married? Sure. <laughs> I mean, we've been married um, for five years and why I got these glasses. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> How are James? Oh, I know, his, his obsession is starting to spread from hats to sunglasses this, this, now. This is my anniversary gift. So <laughs> yeah. I, I, didn't, I didn't want to watch. I wanted the, I wanted the sunglasses. <laughs> They're really good. But sorry. <laughs> um, no, I'm just saying, I'm just reflecting all the things that we went through in the five past years. A lot of things happened, like, 
and too bad COVID was a part of it, you know, in yeah. a way. And that prevented us from like traveling around. And we were like, you know, we were really blessed that we, we had um, two kids. But just, I guess, being married and along with the adding children is a whole different story, you know. And there's a lot of challenges that we had to go through. But I felt like going through all of it, you know, it just made us, made us, it learned us to, um, to work together. That, you know, you, you always remind me that we're always a team and you're not trying to fight against each other. Whatever we have, you know, arguments, it's common. I mean, I'm not trying to say that our marriage is perfect, you know. I mean, we've gone through a lot and you know it all. Yeah. And you'll probably say, oh my gosh, look at my eye bag <laughs> since we got married <laughs> or having kids even. Yeah. But <laughs> just, <laughs> just seeing how all the things that we went through, I mean, yeah, there are moments it was really hard, but I think it was worth it, and and I hope and I hope to spend the rest of our rest of my life together. And with children, it makes it more challenging and difficult. But yeah, absolutely. you know, but I hope we can continue to spend time together, just ourselves, remind that we're not just mother and father to our children. You know, we're wife and a husband, and. Yeah. And we should prioritize that before being a mother and a father. Yeah. God, I got so emotional. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's very important. Whoa! <laughs> we're, getting, we're gonna get wet? Okay. Okay. Well, thanks for sharing that. And hopefully people got some insight into what it's like <laughs> to marry someone who's local here. So thanks for watching and Hello. Hello.